Hi there. In this video, I'm going to take a quick look at the current state. This is in January of 2021 um, of how branching works in Microsoft Forms. Uh, it used to be, you know, over the, the course of the history of Microsoft Forms, they've moved this option around different places. So right now, as of January 2021, this is where you can access the settings and how you can use it inside your forms. Uh, so branching essentially allows you to control the flow of the progress through the form. And it can take two forms. It's either at after this question, go to a specific question, regardless of what the question response is, or in certain question types, you can specify if the response is this, then go to a different question or a different section or you know, whatever. But um, when you add branching to sections, your only choice, you can't make those those uh, branching from one section to another conditional. It's simply at the end of this section, go to whatever section. Um, so just to show you what that is, I have a simple untitled form here with uh, two sections, one of basic questions where I have a text answer, a multiple choice, a rating, a Likert scale, a ranking question and then a net promoter score so and that, those last two are in the second section called more questions so to set up the branching uh, essentially i can click on the three dots up at the top of section one and it doesn't matter if you go if you start from section one or if you go down to section two or actually even within a question, if you were to click the three dots there and select add branching, it's in any case, you're ending up on the branching options screen. It just will take you to that particular question. Um, so in this case, we'll see that here's section one and within section one, essentially this is a text entry question. So the only, uh, essentially I can just say, what, where do I want it to go to? next is the default that means the next question in line or I could have a jump to another question in the current section or I can have a jump to a separate section uh, in the case of something like a multiple choice each choice has a separate branching option so I could say if they select option one then I want them to skip down to question four if they select option two actually we'll, we'll say for Question one, if they select option one, go to question three. If they select option two, go to question four. So essentially, if they select two, it will skip three and go right to four. Uh, in terms of the rating question, again, we don't have any way to say to, to gauge this based on how many stars, um, which is unfortunate because you might want to use this type of question for like, how did you like this, you know, rate your overall satisfaction? And you might want to say, well, if they only respond one star, then ask them an additional question. Um, but you can't do that, unfortunately. Uh, so it is, you would just need to think through uh, how you ask that question or how you format. So instead of using the star ranking question, use, you know, a question where, you know, how would you rate your overall satisfaction? Option one would be completely dissatisfied. Number, you know, two might be completely satisfied. So again, just readjusting the way you ask the question will allow you to have the flexibility to use branching to achieve your goal. Uh, in terms of Likert scale, again, we don't have any real flexibility there in terms of which question they go to. Um, it's simply at the end, after they've responded to this, where do you want them to go? Um, now, in terms of the section branching, uh, there real, there's no other conditions that you can set so there's no condition you, you can't specify that you know at the end of this section if they've responded a certain way then go to another specific section you can simply say you know go to the end of the form or go to the other section so the default again is next which would be the next section in line so in that sense branching inside of a and and again just to be complete if we go through the other question types the 
Um, this is a ranking question where they would drag the items, the options up and down. Again, we can't make that conditional. It's simply next or whatever question you want them to go to. And for the net promoter score, again, it's either next or wherever you want them to go. You could even have them go back to a previous section. So retake the form, restart the form. Uh, so again, pretty simple. And having gone through this exercise completely now, I can say the only chance or the only, the only um, question type where you can really be specific about branching uh, or set conditions on branching is the multiple choice. Um, so again, if you, you know, if you want to be able to drive your responders through the form, directing them to specific questions based on how they respond, you'll just have to craft it as a series of multiple choice questions and then decide how you want them to proceed, which question they should go to next, depending on which of those choices they select. Um, so I guess this entire video could have been shortened down to 30 seconds saying the only way to do conditional branching inside of Microsoft Forms is to use a multiple choice question. Um, I There may be other ways that I'm not familiar with, but this is based on what I'm seeing right now, the only way to do conditional branching in Microsoft Forms.